Good morning, afternoon, uh, or night, wherever you are. But for me, it is time to get into patch notes. I have been waiting, 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 waiting. I missed doing all the patch notes for the gargoyles and all of that good stuff. But with that being said, look at these i am so i'm just so excited that we've got the gargoyles in the game that's just mm, oh yes and now it's time from the devs now this is important with re with the recent release of xanatos and goliath paired with a refresh of don't demona so we've gone over all those character refreshes in other videos um but what are, what they pretty much go down to say is that it came apparent that their synergies were too powerful um and there might have been some bugs, may have been some bugs, they just made them too strong. Um, and people made the most of it. But we, they've had some fixes and they've adjusted the way that they play. So they, they said that okay, these, these new characters are a bit OP and now we're going to change things. And I know there's going to be some people that are upset because I've seen a few tier 9s and I've seen people were hyped. There, there's a lot of hype around, especially Xanatos um, and Demona, the way that they were working, and they felt that there was the the um, there was a lot of imbalance with the amount of damage that they're doing, and so they've changed the way that they that they make them work. So the what is going to be happening? Let's let's have a quick little look here. So particle blast. They have reduced the amount of damage, the continuous damage effects over time. So that is, that is a big, massive downplay disappointment, um, which is sad. And then the rocket launcher, they've removed, removed the amount of direct damage it does also. So they're removing the continuous damage over time, making it lower, as well as the rocket launcher damage. Uh, and that's pretty sad. Um... One thing they did fix it, now this is a completely fine fix, is that um, her flame arrows will no longer attempt to assist herself. So it should be only other teammates, but the, the way that that would have happened is because in this game, the way that it works with like princesses and all these other kind of tags, is they say, uh, when you have other princess characters, uh, you get 5% chance to do this. And it also includes that same princess in that team. So what this was doing with Demona was it was treating her as one of the gargoyles or downtown villains in her kit. And so she was actually popping it off when she was doing her own one. And, I mean, that's pretty cool. But it's not intended. Just because of the way all the other characters are now working. Um, so they've also reduced the amount of direct damage. I think that's sad. Uh, because that is you can get spicy and it's nice it's nice that she does a bit of damage like we needed we needed her to do some damage oh this is why I was hoping to get her up and seeing all these refreshes when when they came out um, and then they remove remove they reduce the amount of continuous damage um, to do over time so that's really sad like having low continuous damage is not going to be so good um, having low continuous damage being having lower damage it's, uh, it's, it's just what made her who she was like whoa really good now to uh, that's that's it. I'll, I'll, I'll wait until I can use it properly but also I'm just gonna skip Goliath and I'll come back to this soon uh, I'll actually not go over it so uh, Goliath's wing strike will no no longer attempt to apply defense down uh, if damaging the da damaging was unsuccessful so that means if he missed if he dodged someone evaded he's not gonna then try and get put defense down and that's fine if, if there's an evade sure now, and also uh, wing strike will now properly do a second instance of damage uh, when there is a successful uh, defense down so there's just a little bit of mix-up of the way I was working now they're gonna sort it out S uh, the static uh, Sentinel will no longer attempt to trigger on himself so that's the same thing with Demona the way that it was working and then also they will no longer attempt to trigger on a counter attack uh, when any character um, loses protect oh that's interesting I didn't know that was, that, was, that was interesting though but I mean if they're bugs sure work it out let it work as intended that's cool then now Xanatos, 
um, now properly flagged as a tech character. So this is one of the big things I brought up in like the video, and I, I talked to a lot of people about this, and we got on board, and now they have done him as a tech character, which is awesome. He's now classified as a tech, and this is going to be huge, absolutely huge for... This is going to be absolutely huge for all of the other events that include tech characters. Now we've got some, another additional reason. There's so much more. He's now counted as downtown villain. You can use him in the downtown villain, the downtown villain events for new characters, for new players who are wanting, which downtown villain should I go for? Demona and Xanatos. Then they're also counted downtown villains, but also techs. They're just going to double up on their usefulness so much, so much. So, that will move us to a few other things, and there's going to be some more strategies involved with doing that, so stay tuned, stay tuned, we'll get into that when we, when we can. Um, also, unintentionally, he had excessive speed stats at, 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 um, at gear 9, so he was at 178 speed at gear 9, and I have a feeling they may have done this... Um, change it because of put, actually putting him into a tech because now he will be affected by hero he can, you can put him in a team with hero to boost his speed and he was super fast before but now that will just ma like make him absolutely bonkers fast um so maybe that's why that was changed maybe but it says here that it states that these have been adjusted to the to the health and improve his durability and to make um, uh, he he remains tied for the third fastest in the in the game, so th that's still very fast. But I have a feeling it was unintentional that way, just because of once he was an actual tech character when he got moved over to the techs. If the people just pair him with hero, whew, nasty, absolutely nasty. Um, and then him, uh, the Steel Clan, they re re reduced the health and defense. I'm sad about that because that was like one one real good thing about like how good those steel clan are and like all the game modes in the towers in the ascension and all these other modes that we see them they're challenging and it was cool to be able to summon them and actually have them challenging it's, it's been a change we got we've got good summons now proxima and the likes and they were just another one of them now making them weaker is going to be like okay well that's kind of takes away from as good a usability but well, we shall wait and see. And then also, set the sky ablaze. Um, they correct an issue where the continuous damage were not getting calculated properly, and so they were doing one damage instead. So, fine, that's good that all these are uh, fixed. Now, we, let's, let's, for those of you who haven't seen what this was and what all of this was, let me just pull this up for you. So you can actually see here, and then you'll actually be able to see what was actually happening with some of these Gargoyles characters. So this is a very strong Demona and Xanatos. So let's have a quick look here. So Esmeralda jumps out. He gets... Some people might have just missed that. He makes them attack each other. Demona attacks Doctor F. Xanatos assists and attacks. And then he attacks Demona. But then he also gets his attacks off when his kit into Esmeralda, but you saw the damage that was done. He absolutely wrecked Demona, doing a 5k, then a 14k. Boom, boom. That that was the kind of a hits that they were doing. And then he gets the counter, and it hits her for 6.8, and then another, boom, boom, 14. So he hits her for, for pretty much 30k. 30k hits. And that is... That is just a little bit on the how, what they were trying to fix with these assisting and and things like that. So they they were getting a bit a bit on the wild side. So you could do this like not this was a interesting that was an interesting exception to to the rule of what is actually happening, but. You could actually do this and have them assisting and then do more with them calling the rocket blasters, stacking the continuous damage, and that's why they pulled this in, that's why they're reducing some of these some of these things. So that that is a thing. 
that is a thing that they are fixing. All right, or have fixed. So let me let us go down now into the upcoming other events. So we've got Cruella, which is here. Little chicken, interesting. Having an anniversary. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Um, we've got the Toy Story, the Playtime that has now started as well, and then Furious Faster. Like all these, all these ones are gonna tick around. Gonna have our Stone events coming back again. We're gonna have the Hunchback Tower followed by the Triton Tower. We do have Double Gear coming this week. So the last stage of this uh, villain showdown is going to be in coming on in a few days time so start of next week and then we've got scrooge's money bin which is awesome and then we see frank wolf energy leaderboard coming back so we've got the lily leaderboard and then we've got a frank lily board lily board leaderboard so guessing their event is going to be ticking on over and coming back again and what that is going to bring is they're going to be available again for there are lots of people I know who were going for them who they thought you know we'll just pick up their, their character shards on the showdown because all their their names were listed in the showdown and they have not been available and like unlike all the other showdown listed characters so there's going to be a big push for them especially how good they were um, so there's going to be a lot of people pushing to go and grab them so can't expect that we can also see are they going to have a special proper event or are they going to come to be farmable or i know meathead was talking one time and saying about he's going to be so pumped to show everybody what these coming next events are going to be like so he's excited for the characters that's a good thing but then one other thing the last thing on this patch notes list is right at the bottom here summoners we are so happy to announce that Conquest 1v1 is in its final stage of testing. There have been so many people complaining and calling about this uh, from people on main discords all over saying, oh, we got 2v1, we got this, all that kind of stuff, like, all the time. That was always part of the game. It was always meant to be um, a way that you can just, like, three, one on one on one on one to go all out to see, have some fun in different dynamics. But now they're going to be changing it to a 1v1, which is that they're very excited with because the community seemed to want it. They didn't like the way that the uh, three versus oh, one on one one, three versus all uh, were going, and there was a lot of other other misintended um, use of that game mode that the devs were not that happy with. They're like, you know what? This isn't exactly. We thought everyone would just be a free for all. It ended up being a bit of a gank, like two on one fest for a lot of different clubs everywhere. Um, a lot of, a lot of different times. So it'll be interesting to see how this changes. But then a huge thing is that new characters for this will be Peter Pan, Wendy and Smee. They will be the new rewards. So they have been one of the hardest lot of characters to get out with the event that came out. Um, so being able to get Peter Pan, Wendy and Smee from the Conquest Rewards, being Conquest characters, I think that's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. The current exclusive, which is Davy Jones, will be in other locations. So he's going to be able to go to be farmed somewhere else, which is cool. And then stay tuned for updates on when this fixture will be coming. So that is, that is a very, 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 very cool. Now, one other thing that you all may have missed, if you're not always trolling and, and trolling the, uh, the general Discord, is this little note here from Meathead. Uh, I'll, I'll put little handy things like this onto my Discord, so if anyone wants to jump, jump into my Discord, link is in the description below. And... Feel free to jump there and share things and how do things with the community. But this is what the devs are saying here. They love the idea of the one v one v one, but it didn't go the way that they wanted to. And they said now they're going to be doing the one v one, and they want people just to go club versus club, battle it out. Let's have some fun. And now he's saying that there's going to be lots of positive feedback, and then of course there's going to be some others, but. Down here, they said they want to make it 1v1 and have it more of a chess match. Have people just battling it out, struggling for things, 
but there's an extra little note down the bottom. And we've been waiting for this and expecting this ever since the fireside chats from uh, Delirium that Meathead and some of the other dev devs set out that they're going to do club expeditions. We've seen some of the, we have seen some of the, the items and the visual graphics made for this. And it's looking amazing and they're saying it's looking super good right now. So that'll be the next train I'm riding. Ha <laughs> um, ha! But what that kind of leans to is that it was always said that they're going to have the new raid and then after the new raid will be expeditions. So this is the new club mode. So this year has been a very heavy club year. So we're going to have the new raid. Now we're going to have expeditions probably by the end of the year sometime. And then after that, I'd say... When they've sorted that out, they'll probably have the 1v1 Club Conquest. So that was something that's not really noted in the patch notes because it's probably not coming this week. But it is something to look forward to that will be coming soon. Club Expeditions. Um, so that is gonna be that is gonna be fairly awesome. So I'm very excited for that. And there was talk in like the devs fireside chat with Cozy that that you potentially they were toying with the idea that you can go and beat bosses together as a club and be able to use them and place them in your club conquest as a tower if that is the case that makes like that makes so much more sense of why and how they have come to this the testing stages of this club conquest if they are putting those things into expeditions. So they're going to make it so you can start beating some of these bosses. When they swap over the modes, then you can put them into towers. And then you can... Oh, this is this is getting exciting. I want to hear from you guys what are you guys all excited about. But if we can go and beat, say, like, um, that big old shiny sea, sea crab from Moana. And have him shiny. If we can have him as, like, a boss in Club Conquest... That we can just place on a tower, that's going to be amazing. If we can have other these characters that we probably won't, like, these huge bosses and things that we don't won't get in, as characters in-game, that we can potentially beat and then put on our towers to fight and to defend, that will be awesome. And having it chess light because it says, it sounds like Expedition is going to be, there's going to be a lot more choices that we have to make of the way we want to do things, what we want to go and unlock. That's going to all, that you could potentially do that based around the characters that you want to put onto towers then you can have maximize the strengths of your clubs that is that is exciting so i'm very very excited and pumped for that so let me know what you guys think oh, i've been rambling on enough but there's been a lot of information some hidden information i want to hear what you guys think down below so we'll see you down there